here, Tedrick Parikh. Thank you for watching this video of things that don't really share well in a PDF or a printed binder. So these are interactive, um, fillable forms with drop-down boxes. I converted all of the check sheets that we use in psychology into this format. Uh, and this format is unfortunately now outdated. We updated to a bachelor's of science, but, uh, and I have switched to Google Docs, which I do share versions of. Um, the Google Docs allow for easier sharing with students, but there are certainly things I miss about these forms. Uh, so it's a fillable form, which means you can't edit uh, things that are outside of the gray boxes, but it means you can use things like drop-down boxes. So I can list for each of the requirements, uh, I can list everything that it would fulfill that requirement. I have nice little check boxes as things finish, and I also have built-in ways to mark off when something is either planned for the future or has already been finished. And then I also have uh, a couple, I have one that's register and another one that is wait. So ways to kind of communicate. And they're all preset to start with wait for courses that have prerequisites like stats. Uh, and there's, uh, there's a couple other site courses that have options. And so this organizes a lot of information into one space in a way that's clean and easy to read. Uh, and it helps students plan. One of the things I liked about it is that I could, uh, so as part of it, I would ask students when they plan to graduate, how many credits they have so far, what their phone number is, if they care to share that. Uh, and then I would ask them for their overall career plans so I could easily reference the direction they were going and take notes for this meeting so that next meeting I would be able to refresh myself very easily. And I also have a second page for a record of all of those meetings. So, you know, before I update for this meeting, I would copy and paste the notes down there. As I mentioned, we have a lot of different uh, check sheets in psychology. These are all of the ones that I customized. Uh, so, for example, we have an art therapy track, um, which is a, a double major in psychology and art. And so some of the requirements are a little bit different here. Um, so I could, although I don't do the advising for art, I could still keep track of, of how they were progressing. We also have a lot of combined programs in psychology, and so I could customize. This one is for mental health counseling and school counseling. I also have a separate one for the art therapy track because those, uh, typically the students doing art therapy for a master's are doing it at the undergrad level too. So all of the same information but I add in, uh, I shade in green the ones that need to be finished before you can apply for the program. I also make some options. Uh, I note areas where there are options at the uh, master's level that could fulfill it. And so I can explain to students who are considering doing the master's that you may want to wait to take these courses at the undergrad level because you might get to take them at the master's level later. Um, and so I, I'm able to really communicate a lot here. I'm able to email and print copies for students from here. And I can even ask students to update it for me in between meetings. Uh, it makes it easy to reference. I would keep it in a folder that could be accessed at home or at work. Uh, now with Google Docs, the accessibility is much greater. Um, I do miss my drop down menus though. Thank you for watching this. Uh, oh, one other thing, this was something that uh, I not only used personally, but I also shared it with other psychology faculty. So it was a resource that I made available to my peers. Thank you so much for watching this, uh, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.